Have you ever wondered if you could use mouse side buttons in Strucid? If so, today's your lucky day as we are going to be showing you how to actually use mouse side buttons in Strucid and this actually works on any mouse. So if you've got a Razer mouse, an Alienware mouse, a Logitech mouse, an unknown brand mouse, all of them, they work, don't worry. So today we're going to be going through that, how to set it up, what software to use. So this is basically a general software that actually allows you to bind a side button or any button to another key or combination of keys. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that today. So that's gonna be pretty cool. But yeah, um, don't forget if this does help you out to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel because we're nearly at 3,000 subscribers. So anyway guys, not much to say for the intro. Yeah, uh, let, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so this website will be linked in the description and um, this is the website of the program we are going to be using which is called Xmouse. So yeah, this does look very sketchy guys. Uh, I do promise you if you look, it is actually a secure website. If you look here, there is actually a security sign which means it's safe. So that means that, you know, you're not going to have any problems, you're not going to have any viruses or anything. This is purely awesome epicness safeness yeah it's always important to stay safe online so yeah anyway guys getting on with it you are going to want to click the latest version because you know you're the latest and greatest version of this software to have it perfect up and running brilliantly so yeah you want to click this button here and then if you're on chrome something comes up at the bottom but the browsers may do something different but it should generally be the same just install it as you normally would and yeah once you've installed it open it up and yeah then we'll show you the next step okay guys here we have the program open so this is just like how it should look for you guys something like this when you open it up and you can see all these things so if you actually do these different actions that appear here for example left click this thing goes yellow right click this goes yellow middle button this goes yellow and then um you know you got your wheel up wheel down tilt wheel left tilt wheel right not everybody has all these commands but of course you have the mouse button 5 and mouse button 4. These are the two um, names for the mouse buttons that are actually on my mouse. For other mice, it may be different, but if you press the side buttons, they should flash yellow, so you can actually know which ones. So basically, from here on, you're gonna actually have to decide what you want your mouse buttons to be. So I want my mouse button 4 to actually be my edit key. So this is what you're gonna want to do here. You want to find out which one the button I want it to be, click it, so it's mouse button 4. And from here on, we're going to want to go to Strucid and actually check our keybinds. So, if I go over here to my keybinds, you can see that my edit is C. So my edit key is C. So this is going to be crucial here. So we're going to go back over to Anti-Micro. And here you see, so mouse button 4, you click on the function. So guys, you want to click on this function thing here, and you click on it, and then press X. This should take you to the simulated keystrokes page, and this is where you put in what you want to do. So enter the custom key or keys. This is where you go and you click the C key. So what I'm going to do is I should click OK and apply. And now from now on, whenever I click that button, it should do that function. So I come over here and I press that button. As you see, it does actually edit. So this is basically how it works. Um, yeah, so I know my edits are bad. Okay, don't bully me. But yeah, you uh, got these things binded now. So... This is how you bind them. So that's how you do one of them. I'm going to give you another quick example as to how you're going to do this. I'm going to give you another example. But yeah, um, let's do that. So guys, I do actually use my C key for editing. So I won't actually use my mouse button for that. But for my other mouse button, which is mouse button 5 for me, I actually use that to do pyramids. Because let's be honest, who is actually going to reach over and use L for pyramid? Like, imagine trying to use L for pyramid. So what we do is we pull up X mouse over here, click mouse button five, make sure that's the one. So you go here and then look up S. And then this is where I put in L. So that means whenever I do that, you click OK, apply. So that means now this should um, now actually do the L key. You press it and it works. So I have all my keybinds set up here. I have my... Um, edit key now done i've got my pyramid done as i said i won't use that edit one but if you guys want to use it for edit if you guys want to use it for your own thing you can use it for wall ramp floor you can use it for pyramid edit 
You can use it for anything you like. And that will wrap it up for today's video. Really hope you did enjoy. Don't forget, if you did, be sure to go smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Anyway, guys, that is all I have to say. Um, yeah. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video.